Welcome to Taz in the Kitchen. Well, today I wanted pizza. And so I've been trying to figure out how could I make a healthier version of pizza. So I have just put a pizza in the oven. So, you know, I'm going to be really listening for my pizza and my timer. But I bought a store-bought uh, prepared pizza crust. And I've just put olive oil on the crust. And so I've made some toppings that we're going to add to the pizza. And then we're going to see what it tastes like. So the first thing I wanted to do was put some ricotta cheese on. Yeah, because of having had uh, weight loss surgery or sleeve surgery, I really have to be very conscious or very intentional about the amount of protein that I eat every day. And so I'm always thinking about how I can transform something that I might would like to eat into a healthier version, but also have lots of protein. So I'm putting here some ricotta cheese, and it is partially skimmed, ricotta cheese. And so I've just put that on the pizza crust. Then I made some marinara sauce. I made my own sauce because when I make it, I can really be more, um, I know what's in it. So basically this was tomato paste. I added some Italian herbs, put a few scallions in that I had left over from another dish. And so hopefully you'll see that I'm just smearing it on. And of course, I put a little artificial sweetener. My artificial sweetener of choice is stevia. Because of the tomatoes, I wanted to give it just a little something to take the edge off of the acidity. So I added a little sweetener. Then what I'm going to do, this is fresh mozzarella. I wanted to add fresh mozzarella. I thought about doing um, shredded, but I didn't want shredded. I wanted fresh mozzarella. So. With fresh mozzarella, I don't know if you can see the liquid that's in the container here. You know, it is sitting almost in a cheese bath is the way I think of it because you see the liquid that's, um, that the cheese is sitting in. Then I, I didn't saute. I sort of poached the vegetables that I'm going to put on here. These are portobello mushrooms, so I chopped them up and then I poached them. I chopped them and poached them because, again, I eat small portions. And so I wanted to make sure that when I started to eat, I was able to chew everything very well. So I wanted to um, poach my vegetables. So I put some portobello mushrooms down. Then I did some green peppers. So we're just gonna lay one green pepper here. We're going to lay another green pepper. It's almost like, oops, one got away from me. You see, I just fell in. It wanted to come. We'll put him there. Oh, this might be kind of cute. There's no right or wrong when it comes to how you put your vegetables in. A red pepper. And again, just as I did with the portobello mushrooms, I sliced my peppers and I poached them. And I poached them in a little beef broth that I made because I wanted them also when they went into the oven. I didn't want, you know, the pizza is supposed to take about seven to nine minutes to cook. I did not want my vegetables to not be tender. I wanted them to be tender so that it would be easier for me to consume and digest. So now I'm just adding some yellow peppers. We're gonna see what we've got here. And a few yellow, oops, that yellow pepper's too big. It won't fit in. Well, now you know how it is, a piece, so you want all the toppings you can get. And so here I am trying to squeeze in as much as I possibly can. Often when I've done pizza, I haven't done an actual pizza crust. I have used like flatbread, I've used like sandwich things. And the reason being is I eat such small amount, I want it to be something that I can consume within maybe two times of having it. And so I normally go with something that's much thinner, but for this cooking demonstration, I want it to have something that truly looked like a pizza crust. I've been searching through our local grocery stores um, and I saw several different things. I saw 
European style crust that I almost purchased for this demonstration. But I thought, you know, when we think of pizza, you really are thinking about something that's round. And so I wanted to make sure that the pizza, I did it justice. So let me rinse my hands because I've got to rinse my hands here. And you can hear me as I'm rinsing my hands because when you're working with those fresh vegetables, I could have used a tong or a spoon, but I just didn't think that um, that was going to be authentic. I want to be like those who make the pizza at some of our pizza restaurants. And so, again, just to recap, what I've done is I've taken a store-bought pizza crust. I put ricotta cheese after I uh, basted the crust, first of all, in olive oil. Then I put ricotta cheese. Then I made up my own marinara sauce. And again, it was tomato paste, Italian seasoning. I put a little bit of stevia in there, um, some scallions. And then I let this simmer. This sauce probably simmered probably about 30 minutes. I let the sauce simmer because I wanted to make sure the spices all marinated together. And so then after that simmered, um, I took that off the ice so it could cool down because even though the ricotta was room temp, it wasn't quite room temp. And I did not want to mix cold and hot because I didn't want anything to spoil on me. So once I had everything prepared, then I put the ricotta down first because I wanted to have it very cheesy. Uh, then I put the marinara sauce. Then I added the fresh mozzarella. And I'll be honest, I had the mozzarella was pre-sliced. I sliced it in half so that it wasn't as thick. So it was not as thick. And so we added the mozzarella. Then I poached basically um, portobello mushrooms that I had chopped up. I poached green peppers that I sliced. Poached yellow peppers that I also sliced and then I also poached my red peppers so that's the reason my red peppers are not quite as red as they would normally be because they've been poached then I my red onions I like onions so I poached the red onions oh and I forgot to tell you I did all this I don't think I told you I poached everything in a um a beef broth that I actually made uh up because I wanted to give that flavor of Italian. So even though I have no meat, I wanted to give the impression that I was eating a pizza that had meat. Now my timer just went off. Let's see if the pizza that I have is in the oven, if it's ready. Oh, it's looking it's looking good. I believe we can taste it. It's looking pretty good. I believe we can taste it. Um, I'm so glad that I poached my vegetables because it's only in there seven to nine minutes, but I think we can taste it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit this on the top of the stove. I'm going to put the one that I just put together in the stove and then we're going to taste this one. So this one, and this is the one that we just assembled. back on because I don't want to forget that I have a pizza in the oven. what we've got. I put the pizza on parchment paper. I forgot to tell you guys. It was on parchment paper and the reason being is I just wanted an easy cleanup. Just wanted an easy cleanup. Now let's see if I can slice this pizza up as well as they do at our favorite pizzeria. Well I'm going to tell you it don't seem like I'm slicing as well as they do but I don't know yet. Let's see. Let's just see who is hot. It's smelling pretty good. Okay. So 
we're going to put this here. And now I'm going to see if I can slice a smaller piece that won't burn me as we taste it. This is gonna be good. You see all that cheese? You see me move my hand back because if that falls on my hand, you know it's gonna burn. Mm. It's very good. This is my first time trying this one, so. I'm tasting it for the first time with you guys. What I like about it is that by, by me putting the ricotta cheese on the base, that's the first thing, it makes it very creamy. So every bite is really like, it's almost like tasting mm, like a stuffed shell or maybe lasagna with ricotta cheese. So it's very good with the vegetables. I have a slight crunch. Remember, I like to have a crunch. One of the things that I've discovered since having surgery is a lot of our foods are soft. We don't think about it, but a lot of foods are soft. Even if you're eating fried chicken without the skin, if you think about it, the chicken is soft. It's the skin that gives you that crunch when you bite into it. And of course, if you go to our favorite, one of our favorite restaurants, I think you can still get the extra crunchy. But the vegetables being just poached gives me a little crunch. So I'm enjoying that. And with the mozzarella not being um, shredded, when you bite into that, and I think you saw it, it just kind of melts. It just melts there. So you add the mozzarella. You cut another little slice here. Now, I could have left the crust, I mean the crust, I could have left the pizza in a little longer. I'm gonna leave that one that I just put in a little longer. Because the longer I leave the pizza in the oven, the um, the crust will get, um, um, what is the word? Spoke? It won't be as soft, so it will be crunchier. And I know some people like um, their crust to be somewhat crunchy. So we're going to eat another bite. Also, what will happen for me, my mozzarella will melt a little more. So that one's going to stay in at least, hmm, maybe about 11 minutes so that my mozzarella melts more. But all in all, but this will be the first time that I've tried this recipe, it's a keeper. It's a keeper. Um, you of course could add other um, toppings. I could have added, if I was cheating, I could have added pork sausage, but I could add turkey sausage, which is what I eat. I could add turkey sausage. I could have added prosciutto to here. Any topping that you want. So if you don't eat like I eat, just add what you would like. You know, you could add chicken to this, whatever topping you like. But this is a nice, healthy, as we know we're gonna have a little carbs in our life. Even I have to have some carbs. This is a nice, healthy, oh, I just thought about it. It's almost vegetarian. Hmm, because I didn't really add any meat meat. A nice, healthy pizza. It's an alternative. So if you're looking for something and you know you want some pizza, but you want to do it a different way, just get you a pre-made um, grocery store pizza crust. Add some marinara sauce. You can add some ricotta cheese. You can add some mozzarella. You can add any type of vegetables that you want. You can add any type of meats that you want. Pop it in the oven, seven, 10 minutes, depending upon how you want your crust to be. And voila. You have a pizza of your own making. I'll be trying this again. And I might even share with you guys how I turn it around the next time. Because I believe in transforming everything that I eat. So, I hope that you have enjoyed my pizza, my Italian food today. Until next time, please take care of you. Bye now.